Chipotle with Stephen Graham Jones. You can't tell me that wasn't cool, okay? Um, yeah, but later in life I Did this man just pee on his own car? Hi, welcome to the first of probably, hopefully, maybe many weekly vlogs that I'm gonna make this year. Oh my god, there are so many spider webs in this corner of my house. I like don't come over here anymore because it's just... It's just my work desk and I work from home a lot, but I also work from my bed, so I don't really use the desk. Anyways, um, not to get on a tangent. Hi, my name is Jayla. Um, I live in New York City and I don't take you around the city enough, so I thought I was gonna do that this week. It is currently Sunday at 1.20 p.m. I literally just got out of the bed for the first time probably 10 minutes ago and I am planning to do a few things today. One of them being joining Casey on her channel for reading sprints because she is celebrating the end of her birthday weekend and she wanted to do some sprints with friends. I'm gonna hop off probably pretty early to go get my eyebrows touched up because I get them threaded and I, ha I usually wait a month in between my visits but the lady was like, you need to come back every 15 days and I was like, I know, they're a mess. Okay, I hear you, Lily. I will come back in 15 days. And it has now been 19 days, so I figure I should probably make that trip over soon. And then I really want to go visit my friend who works at a bookstore called You and Me Books. The store recently opened up a bar, so I said that I would try and swing by with a book and just try and get some reading done and say hello. So those are all things that I plan to do today. Oh, I also, if I have the time, because I'm saying a lot of things and it's already one something in the afternoon and it's Sunday, so things close early, but um, I really want to go see if I can find a funky sweater from a thrift store or a nice jacket from a thrift store. I only get my eyebrows done in the East Village, which is really annoying because I live in Brooklyn, like a 40 minute train ride from there. So it's actually kind of a waste of my time to do all that. But um, I only go there because I really like what she did with my face the, last, the first time I went. And so the East Village has a lot of really good consignment shops and like secondhand stores. So I've been over there a few times. I did like a whole day of thrift shopping a few weeks ago there actually, so I really don't need to be buying more clothing, but I just want a cool jacket. Since this is a channel about reading, I will say that I am currently reading <laughs> My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. This, look how it doesn't flatter me when I put this white ass book in the camera. Ah, there we go. Hello. Okay, um, anyway, Reading My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I have not read this book yet, which is really embarrassing considering where I work and what I do and what I love to read. So I really want to get to this um, because later in the week, probably definitely Thursday, I know it's Thursday, Stephen Graham Jones is going to be at the Strand and he will be in conversation with Paul Tremblay, who just had the movie The Knock at the Cabin come out, which is based off of his book. I just finished The Knock at the Cabin or The Cabin at the End of the World is what the book is called. Did not love it, but I'm sure that the conversation he has with Stephen is going to be delightful, so I really want to have read at least one of Stephen's books. I've read... it's not here. I've read The Only Good Indians, which is down here, um, and I loved it. It was great, but his newer stuff I need to get on, because I've also read some of Stephen Graham Jones' backlist, but I've not read this. I have... Don't Fear the Reaper, which doesn't come out until Tuesday, so A for the early copies, we love to see it, but yeah, so I need, I'm hoping to get both of them done this week, but I know myself, and even if I have the audiobooks, it's probably not going to happen, so main goal is focusing on this one. Okay, I really have to go hop on the sprints because they're probably starting in five minutes, so I need to go do that. Okay, I will talk to you later. Bye. They're how long? <laughs> That's yeah. a big book, so how many hours is the audiobook total? 29. Oh, that's 80. longer than, is that longer than <laughs> it? Know. Or am I crazy? I might be crazy. Hold Did on. you just ask for longer than a day? No. <laughs> no, it's, no. <laughs> what? What did you say? It. The it? book by Stephen mm -hmm. King. Mm -hmm. But I might be wrong, so don't, never mind. <laughs> but I know so how many hours are, I know how many hours are in a day. Like, I'm 24 years old. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> I did not realize how warm it was going to be today. It's only 40 something degrees, but we just got out of a really bad cold front 
in the city because it has been like 20 and lower for the last three days and I just feel like it's, it's a summer day now at this point. are done uh, let's see if I can find a cool jacket but I am running out of time so we'll see <laughs> being friends with someone who works here is that you're here after clothes and now I'm the only one here. It's such a cute little store. Like I love this store so much and I could do whatever I want but I won't but I could. Good morning for what little of the morning is actually left in today because it's already almost noon. Um, it's Monday. Happy Monday everybody. I am working from home today but it's a light day, which I'm very glad for. I'm actually about to run out because I have a little bit of a side hustle where I walk dogs, so I'm gonna go hang out with Rocco for an hour. Anyway, just to close some things out from yesterday, I am having doubts about my eyebrows, to be honest. Like, I don't think I should go back as quickly as I did because I don't have enough hair, especially on this eyebrow, to justify plucking it off so frequently. So that's freaking me out. Like, do I look crazy? I probably look crazy. It's fine. I just need to learn how to fill them in with a pencil. But other than that, um, I went to Revamped and Eltrin Vintage, which are two thrift stores in the East Village, and unfortunately couldn't find anything in them. I do want to try maybe again today to go find stuff. Probably not going all the way to the East Village. I'll stay in Brooklyn. But I do want to see if I can find something because I really have an outfit idea for tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm going into the office and I'm going to be meeting the CEO, like not one-on-one -on -one or anything, but he's coming to the big meeting that we have, which he does not do. That's not normal. And not that I'm dressing for him. I love dressing up for the office. It's like one of my favorite things to do and take my mirror selfie every day when I go in. But I just like a good outfit and I have a vision of what I want to wear tomorrow and I just need the sweater to make it all work. So I do want to see if I can go out today. However, I dog walk from 12 to 1. Then I have to revisit the dog at 6 p.m. So I don't know when things are going to close, but like I don't leave the dog walking thing until 7 p.m. And then I have to get somewhere to find a place to find clothes. So I'm probably not going to do it today, which means I won't be updating very much today. But you do need to meet Rocco, so that's great. Hi, Rocco. Hi, Rocco. 
Hello, sweet boy. Help. talk to you in a full day and some change uh i was gonna take you to work with me yesterday which was tuesday but i was just like i have an entire vlog dedicated to going to the office with me that you can watch and that was at a time when less people were coming into the office so it was less scary to film in the office um i will link that up in the cards or whatever if you want to see what my office is like um and what a special day would look like in the office. We're just gonna talk while I make dinner because we have to optimize our time. Today's cooking session is not sponsored by HelloFresh and I will be making fully loaded pork taquitos. Very excited to eat something that takes five minutes to prep and 30 minutes to cook all together. So yeah, what did you miss? Uh, yesterday I went to the office, I didn't even take any cute photos of myself in my outfit. This whole little thrift store subplot where I was looking for a sweater or a cute jacket becomes totally irrelevant because I did not end up wearing anything remotely in that sphere of clothing. And I will show you the very few mirror selfies that I have of my cute outfit from yesterday. Very 70s vibes. Um, sadly, I don't have any pictures that someone took for me, even though I really wanted them, but it's always awkward to ask. But I took, uh, yeah, I looked really cute yesterday. And then after work, I went to happy hour with my friend. And we went to this place called Cello Wine Bar, which I've been to only once before. But yesterday, really great time. I went by myself the first time and I was just like reading and stuff. I got home around nine. I was watching girls and that was pretty much my entire day. So that's why I didn't really vlog because you don't want to see me sitting at a computer for the entire day. And then I don't, like, you know, you don't want to be vlogging when you're trying to spend quality time with your friends. As for reading, didn't do any. I actually have barely read since I was at the bookstore on Sunday. So I really need to get some reading done. I am currently listening to the audiobook of My Heart is a Chainsaw. I'm on chapter 3 of 19, but I'm reading it at a very fast pace. Like, 1.8, nothing crazy. Um, and so I have about six hours and 43 minutes to get through before tomorrow night when I'm going to see him at the Strand. So, it's possible. However, oh, I'm just not focused. Sorry, forgot to focus you back. Um, it's possible to finish this book. However, 
I have other things I should be reading instead, so we'll see if that gets done. Unsurprisingly, I already really, really like what I've read so far. I am a little worried that it's going to be too heavy with the references, but that's kind of the point of Jade's character. Jade is the main character. I don't know if you know what this book is about, but this girl who likes slashers ends up editing Jayla here to correct myself because I did not technically give the right synopsis. She's actually trying to encourage the serial killer to keep killing people because she hates her town and wants it to crash and burn. So that's what this book is about. So I'm really enjoying it. I am worried that Jade's gonna be one of those annoying characters who just like spews off about all this stuff that no one's really asking her to tell them. However, it's to be expected, I did read a book recently like this. It was called Love in the Time of Serial Killers and I was kind of getting annoyed with her because she was obsessed with true crime and she was getting her PhD in something tied to like how people, how true crime is written about. So she was talking about true crime literature in her PhD uh, project. What are those called? It's not a thesis. Is it a thesis? I should know this. My mom has a PhD and I, defending her dissertation? Whatever. My point being, so hers was all about true crime and so that means that she was obsessed with true crime and every other page was her talking about some serial killer. And I'm just like, I get it. You're a true crime girly, but I don't need all this in my like. I don't need all this in my head. I don't need all this on the page. I also walked Rocco today. I walked him at lunch and I walked him for dinner. And I wanted to share just a cute little story about how on my way to pick him up and like take him out, I saw a man peeing on a car. And I was like, why are you peeing on a car? I obviously didn't talk to him, but in my head, I didn't really bat an eyelash at it. I was like, okay, this guy's peeing on a car. It's probably because he's mad at this other person who did him wrong or something and so now he's peeing on their car. Turns out that he finishes peeing on the car and then goes and hops in the driver's seat and then drives away. And so now I'm like, did this man just pee on his own car? Why would you do that, you know? Like, why would you do that? That's Brooklyn, I guess. For ya. So yeah, that was a fun little highlight of my day. Then I saw him again when I was taking Rocco on his dinner walk. Um, so I'm just like, so this man either lives in this neighborhood or he visited someone who lives in this neighborhood and just decided to not use the bathroom. He just decided to pee on his own car. Like, it's not even weird that he's peeing on a car to me. It's just that it was his own car. Anyway, I need to read more, talk less. So I'm going to put on the audiobook. I'm going to make my tacos. And I think I'm going to watch the latest episode of The Last of Us because it's Wednesday night and I haven't watched it when it came out on Sunday.
Please give a loud, loud round of applause for Stephen Graham Jones and Paul Tremblay. Signing and most of them said this one's autobiography. This one's autobiography. <laughs> I was like, Stephen, this one has a time traveling camo heed. Um, this one's autobiography. Um, yeah, but later in life, I sort of understood where he's coming from. So I don't know, like, if you want to talk about, like, because you're also, like, I mean, as a writer, you're sort of like, I don't want to say an in between place of where you are now, but when I say. Uh, Happy Friday everyone and welcome to the end of this vlog if you've made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this week in my life somewhat entertaining. Um, I definitely started this out saying it was going to be a weekly vlogs. It's not going to be weekly vlogs. I can already tell that that's just too much work for little old me. But maybe I'll do like a week, I'll do a week in my life once a month maybe when something particularly exciting is happening because this was a pretty exciting week in my life, which I don't know if that's pathetic or not, but by reader standards, I feel like it was a really good, like, week. <laughs> I had Chipotle with Stephen Graham Jones. You can't tell me that wasn't cool, okay? As you saw yesterday, I was at the office. I did a bunch of work. I had Chipotle with Stephen Graham Jones in the conference room. I did happy hour with my coworkers, which was really nice because we all really just needed to let off some steam because publishing is just such a, it's a juicy industry, I'll say. And so we talked about that and then a few of us headed over to the Strand for uh, the Don't Fear the Reaper event. And that was really cool because I got to go to the back rooms of the Strand um, and say hi to everybody. So I felt like a VIP, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, that was pretty much that night. It was really fun. I'm glad that I ended up going because I was debating it. I did not read nearly enough of Chainsaw to justify going to that event, but I had a really good time anyway, and obviously nothing got spoiled to create. Well, I don't think anything was made. Well, I, it wasn't even the talkers that spoiled stuff for me. It was people that I was talking to. The talkers? Speakers? Oh my god, wow. It wasn't the speakers who spoiled anything for me, so no shade to Paul, no shade to Steven, but it was people that I was talking to that I met who were fans, and they were just saying things, and then I'd be like, pretending I knew what they were talking about, and then my coworker kind of exposed my, my facade, and she was like, oh, no spoilers for Jayla, and I was like, damn it, I was pretending, and now I know, like, who, some people who die, but it's whatever, it's a slasher book, like, people are gonna die. Today has been super low-key. I actually took the day off of work because my family is coming into town, and so I thought I wasn't going to be doing anything related to working slash going to the office today, but I have had a pretty eventful day so far, even though I'm not working. So I walked Rocco, and then after I left his apartment, his apartment, after I finished walking Rocco today, uh, I went all the way to Midtown because I was looking for things that I left in the office, and I couldn't find them in the office, which means that either I lost them forever, or they're somewhere in my bag and I just keep somehow missing it. So, I went all the way to Midtown, that was like two hours of my life wasted. But I'm back now, and I need to prepare for my family to be all in my space, so I need to clean urgently. So that's what the rest of this vlog is going to be. Um, feel free to stick around for some cute little b-roll, but honestly, you don't have to. But I'm going to cue you out with music in three, two, wait, one. <laughs> this is... I'm going to cue you out with some music in three, two, one.
fantasize and you think a lot of time Maybe you can buy the pipe Can you buy the south, yeah, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Baby, I need to know more Damn, you're exciting Boy, come find me Your eyes are Fighting, cold, he's trying to